So then we get to the main event, The Undertaker and Brock Lesnar, um, the rematch from WrestleMania 30, and of course, only 10 seconds in was it better than the uh, than the WrestleMania match. These guys just went all out, and it was awesome to see. I mean, you were already at WrestleMania 30, but um, for John and I and a few others in the arena, getting to see Taker and Lesnar live for the first time was pretty cool. The, the whole entrance was amazing. But the match was um, very, very good, you know, a lot better than the WrestleMania match, which goes without saying, a lot of... Good near falls, hitting the F5 to the table at ringside, which was great to see. Both guys locking in Hell's Gate in the Kimura. And a very, very good match. And then we get to the finish, and it was really confusing. I mean, you don't have the commentators kind of backing it up. I'm sure it was more clear. I mean, even, you know, viewers around the world watching the network were confused. But just watching in person was really confusing because you barely could hear. I mean, you heard the bell ring. Um, but it looked like Charles Robinson counted one, and that was it, but it was really fucking confusing, and then you see Taker low blow Brock Lesnar, and he locks him in the submission hole, Lesnar doesn't tap out, they ring the bell again, because he passes out, and Taker wins, supposedly, and then after the match, they show the replay, and Taker tapped out, and Heyman gets in the mic, and says that Lesnar won, and, you know, with 20 minutes, or, I mean, it wasn't the issue the show ended early, I don't think that was a problem at all, TakeOver went 20 minutes late, um, so I was kind of happy that this show ended 20 minutes early, but... It wasn't even that. It felt like with so much time left, they could have, you know, some people were hoping that Taker was going to come back out and they were going to finish the match, but they didn't. You know, they just had Lesnar's music to end the show, and that was it. So what were your thoughts on the match and the kind of controversial finish that has a lot of people upset? I thought the match was good. Like I said, it was way better than the match was in the That's not saying much, but the ending was so confusing because you can see... Undertaker tapping out, and then they rang the bell. So then the tap out was over, but then Charles Robinson didn't see it. And then Undertaker will blow his arm, puts him in the hell's gate, and then he, ta- then he passes out. And then Undertaker, then like, they didn't ring the bell. Undertaker knew this to start playing. It was so, it was so random. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and they don't do it anymore. So they used to do it, like, people like, supposed to pass out, they used to like, pick the arm up and do the one. Yep. Two, three. So yeah, exactly, yeah. And they just kind of called for the bell. And, mm-hmm. and Undertaker left and collapsed, and Paul Heyman said that Undertaker tapped out, which he clearly did, and why isn't it won? It was a real weird finish after having the John Steele one. I think people were like, one time, like a clean finish, and a very confusing finish with the bell ringing. And then it was, just, it was very confusing, but the match was good, but the ending was really weird. Yeah, the match was, I mean, yeah, the confusing part about the finish was that they never really determined who the winner was. I mean, I had to look up afterwards whether Undertaker was the official winner of the match because they never really made that clear, um, especially given the post-match stuff and the referee saw that, Charles Robinson saw the replay, so it was kind of confusing. I mean, I wouldn't call it shit. I mean, I'll definitely call it confusing because it really left a lot of people shocked, but I won't call it shit because I feel like it's something, first of all, that we've never seen before. It doesn't make it necessarily good, but... They obviously want to build towards a rematch, which I'm not really in favor of. I do not want to see a match at WrestleMania 30. They have to blow it off before. Then if they do it at WrestleMania 30, 32, um, I don't know what the fuck they're going to do with Brock Lesnar in the next six months. I mean, the guy's you know working more dates than he was the first time, the last couple of years. So, Which means he's going to be making appearances at shows in the next couple of months. So what the hell is he going to do if he's not going after Taker? You know, some people are saying maybe Hall in a Cell, and we'll get to that in a minute. But just... I mean, I guess they didn't want to do a clean finish, which they should have, but they didn't. You know, it's a lot better than Lesnar tapping out clean, I'll say that much. I mean, that that would have been the ultimate, probably the worst thing they could could have done with Lesnar getting pinned clean or submitting clean, and they still wanted to protect Taker, so I I get where they're coming from, but I just don't really want to see a rematch unless it's going to be a lot like last night, which was really, really good. But yeah, it just left a lot of people confused, especially after a lot of the main events of the pay-per-views in recent months have ended in controversy or just no DQ or, I mean, and disqualification or no contest or whatever. It was kind of uh, very controversial. A lot of people were not happy with it. I didn't hate it. I just thought it was very, you know, shocking. Um, but a rematch, though, are, do you want to see a rematch and do you want to see it at a place like Hell in a Cell or Survivor Series, the 25th anniversary of Undertaker's the debut of his character? So where could you see the rematch happening and do you want to see one? I really don't want to see no rematch, but... If they had to have another one, I'd rather see a Hell in a Cell or Survivor Series than have it at WrestleMania again. Yeah, I think by WrestleMania, WrestleMania 32, they're either going to have Lesnar... I mean, there's been a lot of rumors of him facing Rock again, which I was not too high on, but I'd much rather see that than Lesnar and Taker for a third time. 
I mean, the match was good. It's just that it doesn't serve any purpose. So, like I said, Lesnar didn't... I mean, he has been unpinned since WrestleMania 29. He was not pinned last night. He passed out. He didn't even tap. So... In my in my book, he, he's still you know quote unquote undefeated since WrestleMania 29. So there is still that, and Taker gets a, a a kind of a win out of it. He's a heel, I guess, with the low blow. So I don't know how they're going to make him a heel going into a, a retirement match at WrestleMania 32 if he's supposed to be the big baby face. I don't know. It's really confusing, but I didn't hate the finish like a lot of people did. But it, it was definitely confusing to say the least. <laughs> 